the what's about guys? So let's just solve this two to two, three maximum product after k increments. Okay, so you are a race, you have a race and a k, and then you can add in each, add, uh, any element from numbers and increment by one. And then you need to find a maximum product after k and most operation. For example, zero four, you get five four. Okay, so you, because you add five. Okay, for six three 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 two, you get after two. But for example, six three 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 two, your answer will be six three four three. And then you times this, and you can see, oh, this is the largest one, two hundred one hundred uh, one hundred sixteen. You can prove that uh, this is the largest one. Okay, so uh, this problem is very simple, right? You know that the uh, since it's at most k, right? But definitely you should use all of k, right? Because you wherever you add it, these are all positive numbers, so number will always increase. Okay, so problem is uh, simple. Uh, which one should I add? Which one should I add? Should I add? Okay, so you can see this problem is a greedy, greedy problem, right? Because I start from this. If I add, if I choose the current one, k equals one, then I get I get largest one, and I get k equals one, then I get another largest one, and I keep going. Okay, so let's so let's do a reduce. Let's suppose that k k equals one. Okay, so which one should I add? Okay, so for example, let's say x one, x two, three, up to x n. Let's suppose that they they are already sorted. Okay, so I, I should choose one. I should choose one of them and I add one. Okay, so which one should I add? Okay, if I add this, if I add one here, then I do the products, then I will get something already fixed plus x1, x2, up to x and minus one. If I choose, if I add one here, then I will get something fixed plus x2, x3, up to xn. Obviously that this is the largest one. Okay, so which tell you that you just choose the minimum. You just choose the minimum to add. Okay. So this is our greedy approach. That's it. Okay. So for example, let's solve these two problems. Okay, so first I can, I should what? I should, let's say I sorted this, so I get zero four. And then for K and I add, I get one four. I get two four. I get three, four, I get four, four. So where I went now, then I just randomly choose five, four. Okay. So this is the answer. And for this one, I sorted three, six, two. So I get three, six, six, three. I always choose the smallest. I always choose the smallest. Okay, so but the problem is that I uh when I add K, when K is large, when K is large, I will add a lot, a lot of number in nums. Okay, so I need to always define the minimum. So I need to find the mean, I need to, so my data structure should have to find the minimum. And also my data structure, uh, yeah, so I should quickly find the minimum and I can, I should quickly sort it. So I need to do this too, right? So this gives you what? This gives you the heap or priority queue. Okay, that's it. So for example, uh, let's, let's let me just first uh, heapify nums and then for i in k, I just take the smallest one. So I take the minimum. Let's, let me just take, so I, I uh, take, the, take, take the minimum, take the minimum and I add one, I add one and I put, uh, put it back. Okay, and it's amazingly that we solve this problem and we define answer to be one and then for I list nums, I just do this and I find the answer. So I just product. Okay, so this is a very simple question, right? Well, once you understand the answer should be a heap, then you should solve it. Okay, see you guys in the next videos.